Because there are so many misconceptions, here are three things I want to tell you about Islam. The word Islam, the Quran, and what is un-Islamic. First, the language of the Islamic Quran is ancient Arabic, which, just like ancient Greek, is a dead language, no longer changing and adapting to modern societies. Today's Arabic has many dialects, just like you get American, Australian and British English, but that does not enable today's reader to comprehend texts several hundred years old. And no, the Arabic word Islam does not mean peace the way we understand it today. It is based etymologically on Aslama to submit, surrender or he, she submits. Muslims surrender to their God and some even call themselves slaves or soldiers of their God, a God with no name and many attributes. Now if many Muslims do this, it is called peace, regardless of whether there is a war raging with violence, death and destruction. And that is why Muslims call Islam their version of peace. Two. The Quran has very little to do with Islam. It is said to be the central text, but it says very little about or to Muslims. It mostly contains older stories from the Jews and other civilizations and relies completely on interpretation, human interpretation. Some parts are completely nonsensical and because it represents a political ideology trying to establish Sharia worldwide, the Islamic law based on the society of 8th century Arabs, it becomes very obvious it does not fit into the 21st century. 3. The claim that something is un-Islamic is an expression of sheer desperation. Islam is not and does not have a set of defined values and the assertion is based on merely personal individual interpretation and shamelessly using quote mining of the Quran or the secondary texts. The secondary texts written, collected and compiled by humans actually shape Islam. They are known as the Sunnah which provides the description for if, something like 80% of the Muslims, the Sunnis, those believing these words were uttered by Muhammad, the idol and figurehead in Islam. Everything being executed by Daesh or any other militant Islamic group today is mentioned in the Quran or the Sunnah. Yet, most Muslims take Muhammad to be the best person ever and their idol even today. So saying Daesh or any other militant group for that matter is un-Islamic is like saying Muhammad was un-Islamic. Now these are very high level descriptions, but if you're interested in knowing more about Islam, why not ask me and we can talk about it in more depth. So for now, thanks for your time.